Hey guys, welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Eileen, the Crazy Wig Lady. Today, I can't wait to show you this Shane by Renee of Paris in this beautiful gray. This is Silverstone. Before we get started, please join us on our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. I think there are over 13,000 people in that group now. It's amazing. It's a great place for support, encouragement, uh, Lots of pictures of wigs, lots of interaction, so be sure to join us there and also on Facebook. Okay, let's have a look. Renee Paris Shane. Okay, let's have a look. Renee Paris Shane. This is a, of course, short little A line bob, chin length, lots of volume in the crown on this one. Has a lace front and a mono part. Let me show you the back. Short, short nape. I like the feel of this. I really do. This is low density on the front. There's not a lot of permatease here. Your permatease is in the crown here to give you that bump. Really stylish, right on trend. Let's talk about some styling uh, right off the bat. Let's see, glasses, of course. Works great with glasses. Now, this is right out of the box. I found that this falls a little bit on the front, so I think this needs uh, some styling cream or some hairspray, just whatever, some water, however you would like to do it. I think today I'll just use a little Fiber Love holding spray, and I'm just going to work it through my hands, and I'm going to work it all through here. Like I said, this is right out of the box, and let's just separate these fibers just a little. And like I said, I just do that by spraying some of this in my hands and really get down to the cap and work it through. And that will, as you can see, create just a little separation of these fibers. Now you could steam this off your face if you would want. If you want to, that's an option because it has a lace front. You can, of course, pin this back. Get a different look that way just with a little clip, put a headband, headband on with it, it's cute with a headband, really nice, I usually tuck my hair behind my ears just a little bit when I wear a headband, and that will dress it up a little, or wear it behind your ears on one side, Lots of different things. It has enough length on the front that it makes it a little bit more versatile. The fringe on this is six and a half. My face is nine inches from hairline to chin. So if that shows you where this might hit on you, let me pull it down. Six and a half in the fringe, five and a half in that crown, and it has that short one inch nape. Okay, let's go outside and look at Silverstone. Okay, let's talk about Silverstone indoors. It starts out with this dark brown base, as you can see. Then it's topped with just lots of different shades of this gray. Very nice. All different shades. As you can see, very bright around the face, which of course brightens your face up. And then blended with all these beautiful different, all the different uh, grays in here. Again, A-line, shorter in the back, a little longer in the front. Remember, it's a one-inch nape and a six-and-a-half-inch fringe on this one. Okay, let's look at the inside of the cap. Okay, the inside of the cap for Shane. Beautiful lace front into a left mono part. There is some permatease here in the, in the front, but it is not a lot. Now you can see where your permatease is. Your permatease is right here in the crown, right in this area. Open wefted, closed ear tabs with stays, pull adjusters. 
it is a non-extended felt nape, and there is a lot of stretch in here. I could have adjusted this in for my for me. It was a little large. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference, so I could have easily adjusted. And also, there's a lot of stretch, so this would probably work for a little larger head size. And then another look at Silverstone. Okay, that was a look at the inside of the cap. I just put this on with a headband and pulled it back off of my face so you could see this beautiful lace front. You know, even though it's a short wig, you can wear it different ways. So that's, that's another good option. And like I said, this is just out of the box. It really is. Just throw it on. If you want to take it off your face, like I did, put a little bit of hairspray. Another way to do that is pull it up and spray it across just the front, just like that. That also helps with flyaways, and you can, as you see, take it off your face that way a little bit. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it for you. Again, please join us on Facebook at Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Please check below this video in the drop-down box for information on this style and all the others. And have a great day. I will see you next time.